Welcome to an exciting adventure in Chile, Chile, South America, based on the journals of Charles Darwin and his Voyage of the Beagle. Famous for his origin of the species and the theory of evolution, Charles Darwin spent five years traveling around the world and spent an extended period of time in Chile, and specifically on the island of Chile. His largest scientific sheep, in fact, was about this island. He spent months on end there between 1834 and 1835 exploring and writing. It's a new dawn for a new kind of tourism on Chile, geotourism. This is tourism that seeks to bring tourists in direct contact with the land and the people, whether traveling by bus or here on horseback, exploring the island and its indigenous people, the mythology that's so fascinating, or perhaps exploring indigenous industries like the weaving on special looms and villages like Kaolin. Travelers will visit cities like Cancun, which is originally a Spanish fort. More of the culture is seen in the preservation of history and agriculture, including the 14 UNESCO World Heritage Churches on the island that are being restored and recognized as unique and beautiful workmanship. We'll also visit with farmers, and here are garlic farmers, and see how they use traditional methods to grow and prepare and sell their produce, how they live and how the tourist dollars help them preserve their rural lifestyle. Then visit a welcoming agritourism owner who, to learn how her family started 30 years ago after clearing the dense forest for their small farm. To support their family and livelihood, they added farm stays, cheese making, and poop prepared right from their farm. There was also an opportunity to experience ecotourism as Fernando Claude and his wife Amari at Chepu Adventures, who migrated from Santiago to protect the uh, ecology of the area. Learn about the developments of their program for guests in the local community, formed with the help from international and local visitors. Here is an aracadia tree, beautiful and endemic tree that Darwin found fascinating and admired by many, including John Muir, who also traveled to Chile and found it unique. You could see that it would be impossible to climb due to its spines, but the indigenous people ate the seeds. We'll take visits into small towns and cities, maintaining a rural culture. As an example, we encountered a fascinating, charming accordion collector who told us about the history of the accordion in Chile. We'll go to preserves and parks, including Parque Tantalco, nonprofit preserve donated by President Piñera to maintain over 291,000 acres in its virgin state. Inside this Valdivian rainforest, we discover nature, past and present birds, vegetation, amphibians, and mammals as we walk among the ancient forests. We'll navigate the route that Darwin traveled on the inside channel between the island of Chile and Chile mainland and see the birds he saw, and if we're lucky, some dolphins, whales, and sea lions. Docking in the port town of Chao on Quinchao Island, travelers may get a chance to partake of a local pastime of foosball. We'll also visit locations that are making progress at preserving the habitat of threatened species, such as the Hudsonian godwit, which nests in Alaska and then flies 14,000 miles to summer on Chile Island. Meet locals who are leading the battle to protect these birds and create more sanctuaries. Luxury is included in the accommodations with five-star lodging near Kilco, with walks to the beach to see the local farms with traditional agricultural treatments and interact wherever possible, as always, with the local artisans at every stop, the Chilote people. Our guests interact with the environment, with endeavors like bird watching, hiking, observing what exists today compared to what Darwin described. From land and sea, we follow Darwin's footsteps as we are immersed in the true Chilowe. Visiting the island capital, Castro, we'll enjoy the local color of the Palapitos shoreline houses built on stilts. We'll visit traditional markets for fruits, vegetables, fish, meat, and sundry other artisan items. It is an intimate journey with a group of travelers, small, small, so as not to overpower the local experience. At the final sunrise, you will know more about Chile, its history, people, culture from 14,000 years ago up to today. Please come and join us.